Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, welcome back, everybody. A lot of us are dealing with a lot of stress. Ever since COVID kind of tapered off, we still still manifested that stress and that anxiety. And then it just continues in our lives and also depression too. How do you deal with that from a holistic standpoint? Yeah, sure, you can take meds. Obviously, therapy is a great thing. But what if you looked at it from a different angle? Something holistic, something natural. We're going to look at that today with somebody who does that all the time, has been doing it for years as a master herbalist. And she is the woman behind Oyate Herbals. Tammy Lowell is back with us. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I'm good, Steve. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I, and I, you know, it's always within arm's reach. <laughs> I always have my stuff. And this is uh, your stuff, which is a organic stress and anxiety relief tincture. And I also have my stress relief aromatherapy spray. It yes. works for me. I love it. I know it's natural. I know everything that goes in there is organic. Uh, are you hearing the same thing that I'm hearing? Like a lot of people are dealing with it. Oh, I am. I think those are probably my top sellers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it, it really is. I mean, you know, we live in this world of constant go, go, go convenience, things that that are always, you know, we don't ever take that time to slow down. You know, it's, it's that I have to get this done. I have to take care of this. I have to do this. The kids got this going on. I've got this job. I've got this meeting and it's, it's always, everybody is under a lot of pressure and um, that causes stress. So um, stress actually creates a hormone in the body called cortisol. And when you have too much cortisol in your body, you have a tendency to hold on to that stress even longer. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, one, take time for yourself, you know, do the, do the work yourself. But there's a lot of times where we just don't have that convenience. We don't have time to, you know, go take a hot bath or, you know, maybe meditate for, you know, a few minutes or even going to the gym and exercising. Those are all great natural ways of reducing stress. But there's not always that convenience. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. Um, and then the more cortisol builds, the more we struggle with it. You know, and that's just one of the factors. I mean, not to mention the, mention the mental illness that is out there and, you know, so on and so forth. So, And it can just manifest or pop up at any time. You got something going on at work. You have a meeting, something went down and you're like, oh, oh I can't, you know, um, and that's where some of this stuff is great because you just spray the room. People walk in. It's like, wow, that really smells nice. And it kind of calms you down. Right. So uh, this is kind of interesting. You were talking about the sprays. Well, aromatherapy, you know, with essential oils, especially if they're organic and they're actually derived from the actual herb, you're going to get the same herbal properties out of it as if you were using it. So the one that you had there, Walk in Balance, or as everybody else has nicknamed it, Demon Be Gone Spray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because you literally spray it and it just resets you, the room, everybody around you, and anybody who's got a bad mood going on or they're stressed out, it kind of just moves them along, you mm. know? So it does, it takes that away. Um, and it is, it, it has a combination of sage, frankincense, and wisteria. So, you know, I mean, as a Lakota woman, I smudge every morning with sage. So to, to set the intent for my day, so mm. that way I can go into that day, you know, with with a clear mind and everything, because of course I have to be there. I have to be present because I have so many people that rely on me, you know, not just my family, but I have all kinds of clients that are constantly calling me because they are stressed out. They've got this going on, you know, they've got diseases or cancer or whatever happening in their lives, sure. you know? And uh, so, yeah, so just the simplistic of just spraying a little bit of the spray, you know, that's, and it, that's not the only spray I carry. I also carry lavenders. I carry one, a rosemary sage. Um, I also carry a, um, uh, an, an actual one for stress. I have it in a, a, a lotion and a spray. So I've got, and it's called stress relief and it has bergamot, langalang, -lang and vetiver. 
So those three essential oils work very well to stimulate the brain because it has the citrus in it, but yet the vetiver actually helps bring some of that down. So that way your mind isn't racing. So I actually have a lot of kids that take that, um, either the spray or the lotion and I have adults as well, but you know, I, I have a lot of kids that use the lotion. Their, their, their parents will give them a little, a little container to take with them to school. And it really helps them focus because you know, kids have stress too. I mean, you're, oh, yeah. you know, school is tough. And especially dealing with social media and friends and, and the dynamics right. that come along with that. Oh yeah. The bullies. I mean, kids are not nice nowadays. <laughs> They weren't when I was younger and, and now That's it's even true. worse. That's true. It's more, That's true. <laughs> Not yeah, much this, has changed. You got more to deal with right now as a kid, you know, and aside from even keeping your grades up, uh, just the, the stuff on social media. I want to ask you with this spray, uh, the stress relief aromatherapy spray, it has a very familiar scent. Like it, it, I feel it kind of brings me back to center um and I, and there's a spray i have it in my car and i'm I, i'm not sure which one is which i get them confused maybe you know i'm not sure which one that is but that one also I think has that's a, the we've talked about that i think that's the walk and balance the demon be gone spray is the girl i think you're right it. i think yeah. you're right yeah because this one doesn't say walk and balance on it yeah that's the stress and anxiety relief yeah mm -hmm. what is and it, it the, really does work well Oh, they both work great. The yeah. walk-in balance has a very, very familiar smell to me. I don't know what it is, but that's the one that kind of like, ah, yeah, I'm back. You know, you know yeah. to like the center. What do you think that familiar scent is? That's probably the wisteria. It smells a lot like lilacs. And I think that's if you were ever for me, my grandmother had lilac bushes. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. And yeah. I, it reminds me of either my mom or my grandmother. And we had lilacs in the the backyard of my house where my grandmother would be and she would watch us. And that, so maybe that's what that familiar and, and yeah. familiar is good when you're in a you know stressful situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and kind of a cute little um, note on wisteria. So wisteria trees in the Orient is planted around their homes to ward off evil spirits. So even if you look at the Asian, you know, ways of thinking, it's still even that smell, they know, they, they understand this. I mean, you know, uh, um, uh, Oriental medicine has been around for thousands and thousands of years. Sure. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, what was that? What was that TV show? Wisteria, Wisteria Lane. Uh, oh gosh, it was. Uh, it was a TV show. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Google it right now. I'm, <laughs> yeah, because you got me on that one. <laughs> uh, there was a TV show called Desperate Housewives, and gotcha. and, the, and and that's why I remember the name Wisteria Wisteria Lane. And it was a you know fictitious one, but uh, yeah, that's that's a, that's the a show. I never even watched the show. I just remember the street. I don't know why. Right. Right. Bizarre. And wisteria is really kind of a hard oil to get a hold of to get it organically. Wow. Um, yeah. Luckily, I have some wonderful organic growers, you know, other indigenous family owned and operated companies that I work with. Um, I just don't have the time to do essential oils anymore. Um, I used to do a lot of lavenders from um, uh, down in New Mexico. I had a, I had a, a gentleman that uh, grew lavender and rosemary down there by the uh, reservation. And uh, just, it was the best lavender I could ever, I, I could ever get. And so I've done my own essential oils, but it's very time consuming, really time consuming. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I can't even imagine. Uh, and it takes so much. I mean, you know, you're talking a pound might make an itty bitty little bottle because it's so highly concentrated. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So it takes a lot of, a lot of the herb um, and a lot of time. So, but wow. I love my aromatherapy. Those are, those are some of my best sellers. Um, you know, moving into more um People that really, you know, fight with anxiety, fight with depression. 
Um, I usually recommend that they do something a little stronger, um, more of a tincture, something that you can take orally. Um, I have helped a ton of people um, get off and move away from the um, uh, IAMO inhibitors, you know, like um, uh, Prozac and things like that, because in the long run, a lot of those medications are really not helping you. They're actually hindering the progress that your body really needs to do. We talked about the cortisol, you know, it doesn't reduce that cortisol. All it does is it puts you in a place, it kind of numbs you out. So you're not really dealing, your body's not dealing with the, the problem. It's treating the symptoms more than it's doing the problems. So I am somebody who loves ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen herb. We've talked about it in the past. Rodilia, you know, what those do is they help your body adapt to the stressors in your life. They also help your body absorb some of the other herbs that I would be recommending. So I have two tinctures that for somebody who's really, really struggling or maybe on some type of, of anti-anxiety, anti-depression medications. Um, one is called stress and anxiety relief. It is ashwagandha kava kava combination, which is kava kava. I kind of talk about as kind of an herbal equivalent to like a Xanax. Um, and that is, it, it, of course, a prescription drug uh, for anxiety. It's been prescribed for years. Um, the other one that I have is more for depression, but it is also mixed with ashwagandha. It is, uh, it's called kana bark. And kana was used. Um, and it still is used uh, in Africa by the tribes there. They would chew on that bark um, to create that euphoric effect to help them just, you know, calm and be mellow. So um, and that one I call calm and focus because it does. It calms you down, but it also stops that brain from racing. You know, I mean, wow. we're constantly our heads going 90 miles an hour all the time. It does. It really helps you kind of just center and focus and what you need. I have some people that use both of them as well. They use the the common focus on a regular basis. And then they use the stress and anxiety for like a breakthrough for anxiety attacks, or if they've been triggered and things like that, you know, certain PTSD. I work with a lot of veterans and, you know, that have really, really been through a lot. So can you use these organics, these herbal remedies with uh, the the medication that you um you know we're talking about here the Prozac and the other all the other ones um I don't like them to use them all the time with it depending on what the medication is um because they can the herbs can do the same thing that the prescription drug is doing so we don't want to all of a sudden like double your dose you could say you know in layman's terms. So if you're taking, you know, some type of a antidepressant or anti-anxiety drug, um, I would really like to know that. That's why I do a full phytotherapy intake and get all of everybody's backgrounds and the prescriptions and everything. And then if they want to get off of it, I usually, especially depending on what the drug is, have them go to their medical physician, get a taper. And as they start tapering, because a lot of those you have to taper, that's when I start introducing um, the herbals mm -hmm. and we kind of do this. So it's a, you know, come off, come on. So we got a catcher, but we're not over medicating the person at the, at the same time. Wow. Yeah. And of course, you know, disclaimer, make sure you check with your medical professional on all always. of this. Yeah. Yes. Always, always. Yeah. If you ever, if you're pregnant, nursing, have any type of disease, I absolutely recommend that you check with your physician prior to using any type of herbal remedies. Absolutely. Gotcha. Um, and we talked about kids are, would you be taking the same thing as a kid that you would take as an adult? You can, depending on the stress levels, you know, I mean, you know, you, you're using the aromatherapy sprays and stuff like that, and it works very well for you. Um, you know, I usually start people out low like that, you know, so it's like, let's try this. Let's try something simple. And then if we need to build up or add to it, it's, it's something we can always, you know, move forward with. Wow. Uh, you have so much stuff. It's almost, it's, it's almost hard for me, you know, being lame and like, you know, most of us are <laughs> keep a track of it. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. And I, you know, I have, of course, my recipe books and everything, and I have to refer back to them. I can't keep all of this in my head. 
you know, I, I keep a lot of it, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, um, it's tough sometimes, but I have created so many different blends of different herbs that, uh, you know, really do work, but this has been tested and perfected over years. This isn't something that I just started out a couple of years ago. I've been doing this for over 40 years. So I, wow. you know, through trial and error, and I don't ever use anything um, or I or, let me, correction, I never sell anything that I haven't used myself. I try everything. I try the different combinations. Um, I am very sensitive to certain herbs, um, chemicals, especially. So, you know, I get a lot of people that call me up and go, oh, try this. You know, we, we can distribute you this, you, you know, oh, I see you carry, you know, CBD. I see you carry, you know, these things and, you know, tinctures and this and that, you know, oh, try mine. I'm like, okay, send me a sample and I'll try it. And there's a lot of times I'm like, no, I'm good because mm. I can tell, I can tell it's not pure. I can tell that it doesn't work. Um, I'm actually testing um, some real interesting stuff right now that actually might be a blessing in disguise for people with cancer. Um, I have been, yeah, I have mm. been introduced to a gentleman who was a in the cannabis industry for many, many years. He is a chemist and a scientist, and he has developed a plant based stem cell that is 400 times the actual amount of what our like after 40 our bodies you know starts breaking down this is comes and you're doing it from algae and it is an amazing thing um i'm testing it there's about eight of us right now that are that it's in it's in a trial you know, my trial and his trial um he is not retailing it right now because uh, UC Health in Colorado possibly could be picking this up for a clinical trial for cancer patients. Um, wow. It is it is in a lot of the he's he has taken it in a lot of the um, retirement homes and you know for the elderly and stuff. Um, it saved his wife's life from cancer. So, I mean, I've got a lot of different of you know, alternatives. Uh, I have a, um, a tincture called sacred seven. It's all the mushrooms, which has been working very well for a lot of women with breast cancer and things like that. So when it comes to that research and development of my products, it's tested and it's not just tested for a couple of months. We do this for, you know, six months, sometimes a year, um, to see what the results are, see where we're at. And, uh, but if this, if this goes the way I think it's going to go, it, it's going to, it's going to change people's lives. Mm, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, I know. You know. Fingers crossed. Right. I mean, you know, I, I learn stuff all the time and, and yeah, this, I just can't believe it. I know that, that just me taking it for the last couple of months, my hips aren't as sore as they usually are. I got like pinched, you know, sciatic nerves and things like that. I've noticed my vision is looking, is getting better. Um, mm. and just little, little things that, that I'm noticing, um, that is, can be a huge difference, but it does, it, it helps you regrow bone marrow and everything. I mean, it, it, it just like ignites the, the cells in your body to heal itself in like massive amounts. So, wow. Uh, keep yeah. us posted. You know, I will. I will definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. You know, yeah, it was, I, it was <laughs> years ago, somebody walked around talking about something called CBD, and people right. were like, eh, "What are you talking about?" And now <laughs> it's so mainstream. Shame on the FDA for not approving it. But right. uh, you know, I, by the way, I've said it before, but uh, compliments to you on your your salve that you have that has CBD. Yeah. So I actually went today. Just got back a little while ago from getting a sonogram and an x-ray of my shoulder. And it it right. shows that it's not a rotator cuff issue, which I thought it was. And it's not bad, but just there's like, some pain. Um, so next step, it's the MRI. Of course, the insurance company won't do the MRI immediately. They'll start with the other stuff, which is a waste of money for them. But hey, and time for all of us. Um, right. But I used that salve when I had a flare up here. I don't know if it's connected to the shoulder but it just flared up from stress. I know it. Um, right. I even went immediately booked a licensed massage therapist and got that done. And then I didn't really feel, you know, it was okay. 
Um, but that night I got went home and I put your salve on. And next morning I woke up, I'm like, whoa, feel so much better. And I I forget, I should use it again tonight. I forget to I forget to use it, but it uh smells great, not like nasty, greasy. There's others I've you know, before we met, I got one and it's almost like a full container of it because it was just like just pasty. Pasty is the best word. Yours pasty. is just very smooth and it's not greasy and oily. It just it's like putting a lotion on yeah. that has all this stuff. And if I remember the one I got was the the all in. Like I, you know, yeah. <laughs> yep. I wall. supercharged if, it for you. Yeah, I Thank supercharged you. Yeah. it for you. Yeah. 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 And it does, it works great. Well, it's set in jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is the closest for our natural CBM. So if you're putting something on your skin that is going to be like your skin, then it's going to absorb nice. It doesn't stay greasy. I don't use any other oil. That's my favorite oil around. It's just, it's expensive, but it works. And yeah. that's my thing. I, you know, if you go to my website, you can read about our ethics and I, I refuse to sacrifice quality for price. You know, I'll spend the extra because I know how well it works and it's worth it. You know, you can go down that road and spend, and just like you said, you can spend all this money on stuff that is not going to really work for you or, you know, kind of not be as pleasant yeah. or you can work with somebody who uses very high quality products in what she's making and really have a great experience. So, and the stuff that I got before I met you is, was made from somebody uh, by somebody that does what you do, you know, very small company, and there's, you know, there's other, you know, decent products, all CBD based where yours yeah. aren't CBD based. You just add the CBD when it, it it's appropriate. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, other people may say he swears by it and he's, you know, people come up to him all the time at fairs and things. And um, I, I just didn't like the consistency and I didn't really see the results. I, and I hear that a lot. And that's why my stuff is the way it is, is because I listen. I listen to my customers. I listen to what people want. Well, and me and myself, I know what's pleasant, more nice to use. You know, I mean, I don't want to be putting something on my my body that is going to be all greasy. You know, I want to put it on and I want to go do what I got to do. Right. Wanna, yeah. I don't want to wake up in the morning and have like, you know, muck all over my pillow and I got to wash yeah. the pillow from one night of using yeah. it. Um, it. And by the way, you know, you say that you spend a little extra when you need to, to get it right. Your prices are so affordable. Like, <laughs> um, again, I, I, I think I've said this before, you know, even the spray, I bought a, a sage, organic sage spray uh, at a uh, bath and body type store. And I'm sure it wasn't even like real sage. <laughs> uh, and it was a tiny little can. And it cost more than this whole bottle. Yeah. My little $8 four ounce bottles. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I even just like the regular bucks. salve. I mean, you paid an extra $5 for me to supercharge it, but oh, I mean, it? I'm yeah. I, the, the regular, I call it extra strength, super, you know, the CBD salve, um, you know, it's $30 for a two ounce jar. Yeah. I mean, I go into the grocery stores and I see, you know, these CBD corporations that are making these saps. You're talking $55, $60 for a, you know, one, one and a half ounce jar. And I just don't understand it. it it's, it's not necessary to mark your products up so high. It really isn't. I've so, used it probably five times now. I barely made a dent in it. There's plenty wow. in that container. Yeah. There's, 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 there's plenty. Yeah. And so if you use it more often as well, it might fix your problem too. Yeah. I got to get back on it. Free. Yeah. Because you yeah. know what? It comes and goes and I should just, you know, stick with it. Um, and your know, final thought, jojoba oil. Am I saying that right? Yes. I remember either seeing that or, or hearing about it years ago, uh, yeah. as a, you know, in, in lotions, you know, contains pure jojoba oil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Shampoos. Yeah. It's it's been Maybe used in shampoos is. for years. Herbal Essence come out with a a jojoba based one. Yeah, years ago, years ago, jojoba has yeah. been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and for 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 good reason. <laughs> you know, it 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 duplicates what's uh your your body's made up of. Yeah. Uh, well, they use it in the labs to to simulate human CBM. 
There you go. When they're testing. Yeah. How do we find you online? I know, uh, you know, sometimes it may be hard for people to, to spell Oyate, but uh, it's just simply OyateHerbals.com. Yep. Yeah. And it's spelled O-Y-A-T-E herbals. And it's just Oyate means my family, my tribe. That's what brought me to this place. Yeah. 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 Fantastic so, stuff you have. Uh, and just the, the, the deep knowledge, if anybody has a question, I'm sure, you know, if they're wondering if this is the right fit for them, they could reach out to you and you could direct them on what product to. to oh, get. absolutely. The, the, um, you can either message me from the website. My cell phone number is, is there. My email address is there. Um, yeah, reach out to me. I am a text or a phone call away. I literally, um, talk to people all the time, you know, just reach out. I don't have a problem you know, answering your questions. Um, I do free personal consultations all the time. You know, people are like, oh, well, do you charge? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't. Why? It's It takes a few minutes. You're going to spend the money on the herbs anyway. So. Like the way it used to be. Right. And I'm going to keep it that way. Yeah. Try and getting yeah. your doctor on the phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like four phone calls, like you're calling the president. It, it's just crazy. Uh, OyateHerbals.com. Tammy, so great having you on once again. Thanks, Steve. It's always a pleasure to be here. Same. All right. We'll talk soon. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.